this is the the oh. pulmonary trunk, but we're not going to have that on there. And they show you the cute little semilunar valves and everything. So this is inferior, uh, sorry, superior, thank you, vena cava, inferior vena cava. Branching off the superior, we have this big arch that's going to take blood vessels to the, uh, the left side of the body. This is now the brachiocephalic trunk. From this junction over here and from this side of it, we're going to get branching the jugulars. This first branch is the common jugular. Then we have external, which comes up and outside, and internal, which is what they're showing you here by sort of deadening into the bottom of the skull. I don't know if you need all of those. Always look at your sheet. Um, subclavian traces right alongside the subclavian. This would be the butt end of the subclavian here on this side. I don't know why they remove it all. Um, once it branches, it's still, this is still axillary, but now we need to know the actual name of this one, which is the cephalic. So this is the cephalic vein. It's going to branch again when it enters the arm, and because we need to drain with more veins than we deliver blood with arteries, we're going to branch and go ahead and form, this would form the brachial vein, which would drain from the lower part of the arm right alongside the brachial artery with delivering blood. But the one that they're really choosing to show you is basilic, which runs along the inside portion of the arm. Okay, so as we were to go this way, it would trace along the back of the arm here, as opposed to deep next to the, the bone. Um, the basilic and the cephalic join together to become the median cubital, which is where you actually would take a blood sample typically from a patient. And then again, we have the radial and the ulnar of, uh, coming off of that. Um, here we have all, the, I think the ones that they really want you to know are from the um, hepatic portal system. Mm -hmm. And so the hepatic portal is going to come up, it's this main portal in here. But remember, we can also see it on the bottom of the liver in purple, <coughs> showing you that it's got a combination of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. It's sort of a mix of the two. Um, I think they want you to know, do they, from the, the hepatic, they, I think we're wanting you to know the superior versus the inferior. This One of these up here would be superior, one would be inferior. It's not very clear. And the splenic comes over, you can see, and joins with the hepatic and also the left gastric. All of it comes together. These come, All the inferior and superior veins join first, then they join with splenic, then they join with left gastric. And there's even a cute little moniker to help med students remember that. You don't need that. Um, so inferior just inferior and superior right here, are those yeah, mesenteric? Yeah, those are all mesenteric. But I don't think that you need to know the superior mesenteric, mesenteric so which is just, we'll just say is this these up here. So we'll just call these superior and leave it at that. Okay. Um, okay. Then we need to keep going. And we have, obviously, the renal veins. And then we would have the super renals over here draining the um, the uh, adrenal gland. What else do they want you to know? They want you to know the hepatic, the main vein that would be leaving the liver to return the blood to the venous system. It's going to return to the heart, head out to the body. Um, the branch again. We get once we branch, we're into the iliacs, common iliac, internal iliac, external iliac. It comes through just like the artery, goes right in through the inguinal region. These are our femoral veins. They cut those, instead show you greater saphenus, which runs at the back of your leg to drain the lower parts of your legs. The popliteal would run alongside the popliteal artery. They don't have that on there. And I think we said that this was trying to show you anterior, so I believe, um, and this is trying to show you posterior. So I believe that this is supposed to be anterior and posterior, though it is a strange arrangement. And that's it. Okay. So we don't need to know what this is? Yeah. No. I don't even remember.